This week on Dateline Schools, we're continuing the opportunity to meet some of the top academically performing high school students here in St. Clair County. And today we have the privilege of meeting the salutatorian from Memphis High School's class of 2021, Seth Steer. And, and Seth, first of all, congratulations, quite the honor. Thank you. How much of a challenge was it for you to reach this goal during your high school career? Uh, school has never been really much of a challenge for me. So as long as I got my work done and did it on time, I really got this pretty easily, honestly. Was uh, being coming salutatorian, valedictorian uh, one of your goals, or is it just something that happened for you? Uh, around my sophomore year, I we checked my standing in the class and we realized I was number one. So since then, I really was I was really planning on getting valedictorian, but then our actual valedictorian ended up doing more than me, and she ended up getting it over me. Nothing like some friendly competition. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, what are your plans for college and what are your future goals? Uh, my plans for college include attending Saginaw Valley to major in mechanical engineering, but I haven't really planned much beyond that. Okay. I know you're, about, you're a student athlete at Memphis High School. You're going to yep. be playing some sports up at Saginaw Valley too? Yep. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't decided, but maybe like club sports and just stuff around the college I will but actual varsity sports for the college I I'm not good enough for that how, how do you juggle though all your athletic commitment plus what you needed to do in the classroom uh I for the last two years I've been doing dual enrollment which has allowed me to only go to school for half the day so that's allowed me to have like two or three hours extra where I can do work but not have to worry about school or before sports good well that's encouraging as an academic leader for your class what's what advice do you have for your classmates from the class of 21 and then for those other students who are still in high school coming up so advice i'd have is just to get your work done and just just getting your work done and getting it done on time will just help you a lot through high school and just in getting good grades and passing a lot of classes and obviously that's uh, some good job skill to have too once you get in the workforce isn't it no. Well, Seth, congratulations. Wish you all the best up with Saginaw Valley. Thank you. For Dayline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington.